Hey everybody, it's Tessa, and I'm talking about meal prep again. And um, I feel like I feel like I got a meal on my face. <laughs> Note to self: I should know better. Remember the um, remember the leafy green incident. <laughs> We don't want to have we don't want that to happen again. Okay, so tonight it should be short and sweet because the only thing I'm talking about are the different styles of meal prep. Okay, so we talked about uh, we went behind the scenes with how I do it or how I I did it kind of in an emergency, and then we talked about what it is and why people do it. So now I'm just going to talk about the different styles and. In my mind, um, it has nothing to do with whatever kind of diet or method you like to eat, okay? So no matter how you eat, whether you're vegetarian, vegan, paleo, just none of the above, um, that doesn't matter, okay, for meal prep. You can still prep your meals to some extent, regardless of how you eat, okay? The other thing is... It has nothing to do with how you like to cook. So, um, you know, you could be someone who likes the crock pot or likes the grill. However, or you could like soups or salads. You could make stews. You could use an Instapot. So that's not really a style of meal prep. That's a style of cooking. And any meal prep can accommodate any style of cooking. So no matter how you like to cook, you can still use meal prep to save time, save money, uh, and make your weeknights go smoother, okay? So um, we're not going to go over each one of those right now, but I will have tips down the road for all of them. What we're talking about tonight is how the meal prep would look like when you do it and when you are eating throughout the week, okay? So we already know that what it is is preparing um, all meals, some meals, some elements of the meals, partial in advance, and then serving and eating later on. And it could be anywhere from one day, a whole week, three, four days, just during the week. Um, so many different ways of doing it. So in my mind, there's kind of three different ways people go about it. And I'm going to start with what I call buffet style. And now that I work at home, and now that I have included the whole family, uh, the husband and the boys, in um, taking advantage of the meal prep more, we typically do buffet style. And buffet style would be where you're planning in advance, you're making... Um, different food and it could be it could be your meats are separate from your veggies or separate from your grains and you kind of um you know you might store them in something big you'd prep a big batch whether it's a soup a stew whatever you'd store it in a big container um and then people you'd either have it that night or you'd pull it all out and people could choose that's what we do a lot i have I have kids and in my house with different tastes, okay? They don't all like the same thing. Um, so what we do, as opposed to this is what is Monday, this is what is Tuesday, this is what is Wednesday, it's more buffet style sometimes. So I'll make enough food to last for a few days, and then they can eat what they want as long as they follow mommy's rules about making sure you have a protein um, and a carbohydrate and a vegetable for dinner and for lunch, but they can pick what they want. And we end up with, you know, happier people in the house and they're, they're getting to eat what they like. And we also um, sometimes can keep it more basic so they can season it how they like and they can put what they want on it. So that's one style, buffet style. Um, the next one is... I don't really kind of have a name for it. It's I think it's the one that most people think about when they think about meal prepping because it's what I thought about. My first introduction to it was actually seeing bodybuilders and, you know, my friends, people training for um, fitness competitions and their need to have 
specific portions, timed right, no matter where they were, was so important that that's, you know, that's kind of what I think about with their meal planning or their meal prepping, where they actually, they're the ones with just stacks. Usually they have containers with compartments in them and they're measuring out a certain amount of, of ounces of meat and vegetable and carb and you know they put it in the big container or it's in the fridge ready to go uh, that's another style that might work for people um, and I've done that before I mostly did that when I was working out of the house I've been doing this for a while and it made it so much easier because then Everything was there, you just grab it, you grab it and go. That's the kind of thing where you might see salads in the jar or overnight oats. It's, it's where you're actually putting the whole meal together and then you're ready to go with it, okay? Um, so, I don't know. The name I could think of that is more of, it's, it's a bad name for it, but kind of like your, I don't know, your, your frozen dinner style because I think of those containers with the compartments. Um, so there's that. Now, the other one that is kind of in between would be uh, where you're cooking different things and instead of having it left in a big container and instead of having it in a single meal container you'd actually portion it out in different um, smaller containers in the right portion but then you can still mix and match and I'm gonna be I'll be right back so these uh, these are the containers that I use. So sometimes I have a, I have a, a bunch of these, and they are portion control containers. And um, so this would have carbs and vegetables and meat. And then I would measure it out and have it in that portion size, and then mix and match it for meals. So say I did, you know, broccoli and Brussels sprouts and carrots, well then, or and, and some was cooked, some was not, that could be all portioned out and then whatever I was in the mood for I could grab and then turn it into a meal. And so that's a method I've done as well. So I have done all these methods and I still do all these methods. Like there's no sticking to just one. Um, what I do is I look at the week that I have and figure out which one works the best. So say I was going to be out of the house a lot, I would go with this. And if I'm just home and I'm, we're thinking of more dinners, I would do the buffet style because that keeps everybody happy. And say I'm really kind of cracking down on my portion sizes and just trying to do a, a real good job of that portion control and making sure that I'm getting enough protein and enough vegetable, um, then that's when I do something like this. It gives you a little bit of more choice in the moment. You know, sometimes I, uh, when I put things in here, I may not be in the mood. So I would maybe, I would do a sweet potato um, and then maybe some chicken breast and a vegetable, and maybe that's not how I want it. Um, and this would give me the flexibility for that. So in my mind, that's how I spell out the three different styles of meal prep. And like I said, that really has nothing to do with how you like to cook things. Um, and I'm going to be sharing a lot more information. I have, I have so much I want to share, and I'm actually... <laughs> exercising restraint right now to just stick with what I had planned um, and so if you have questions like I said before message me reach out to me drop them below because um, gosh I feel like this is a subject that there's so many ways of doing it and so much to it that it could take a little bit more time than a week so I want to know what you want to know about it and I can help you with that and share it as the days go on. So thank you for listening. I hope this was helpful. I think that um, a lot of people have kind of that, you know, one style in mind, which is mostly this one. So I wanted to make sure you know, you knew there just wasn't one way. It didn't have to be like that. So anyway, um, thanks for listening and have a great night. Thank you.